could you say that Mario Party sucks, Mike? I mean, it's an awesome I, game. I didn't beat Mario Party as in the series. I meant Mario Party 8 because that one was just a fail. Oh, okay. That's right. I understand. No, like, no here's, here's my problem. Mario Party 9 looks too much like Mario Party 8. Mario Party 8 was like Mario Party 7. Mario Party 7 was like Mario Party 6. Mario Party 6 was like Mario Party 5. Mario Party 5 was like Mario Party 4. And, and Mario Party 4 was like Mario Party 3, Mario Party 2 was like Mario Party 1. The original Mario Party 1 was actually a lot like Duke Nukem, and, but they didn't really want Peach to be kind of that person. They wanted her to be a role model. So they changed it, and that's how you got it. Mario Party 1. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? Anyway, since we're in video games, since we're in video games, before we get into any worldly news or anything like that, let's let's finish up with the video games for, well, not really, we have a few other video game things, but Paul wanted to talk about Team Fortress 2 with Greg, and none of us know anything about it, so Paul, you want to take it away there, buddy? I know a little yeah. bit, I don't care. Yeah, yes, the uh, Meet the Medic trailer just came out like yesterday. The trailer itself looked pretty nicely done for a four-year wait for the stupid thing. And, but the big thing about it was the update for TF2 that came along with it. What they get, what they did was, over the course of the week, they added weapons and items to certain classes. And on the day of the trailer, they finally gave the medic some, some pretty nice finds. I just ha I started playing it today and I got like a few of the got some of the newer stuff. All this new stuff is like really good. It's not none of it's like actually bad. The but over the update's nice and all. I just wish they would like nerf some things in from previous content. Like some of the default stuff is still pretty broken. But oh, overall, the update and the trailer were pretty good. So. That, uh, that's about all I gotta really say, so. Congratulations. What the? Oh, look what you did. You put whoever that is to sleep. All right, I dare you. Oh, uh, no, I'm awake. I'm okay. Okay, so we got out of... <clears throat> so we, we, we did that. Now, uh... I usually get a whole bunch of hate mail from people that are TF2 uh, fanboys. Um, I, I have nothing against Team Fortress 2, I just don't play the game either. Anyway, speaking of games I do play though, however, um, I got my Legend of Zelda 3DS game this past Sunday, and the game is freaking awesome. Ellie, when are you getting your 3DS? You are missing out. I don't know! What am I getting? I don't know! I'm missing out. I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I know, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I found that thought funny, I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to know something that's really funny? I talked to Kevin yesterday, and he actually got his 3DS today. You kidding oh, me? Do you want to know when I'm getting mine? Uh, he did? Yeah, he, we were on Xbox Live last night. Smash was there. Oh, the Smash only guy that doesn't have a 3DS? Uh, Chris, do you want to know when I'm buying mine? You want to what? Eventually. Do you want to know when I'm buying mine? The 32nd of November. Okay. As in never, I'm guessing. Yes. <laughs> but the new wise guy. I enjoy the game. The game is awesome. I haven't. I'm. I don't even think I'm even close to halfway pat through the game yet, and I'm having lots of fun with it. The 3DS is fun. It's got nice little perks. It has nice little things here and there. Unfortunately, though, I've been walking around with the 3DS for about a week now, using the Spot Pass, and I've Spot Passed nobody. So. Either nobody in this area has a 3DS yet, or nobody's smart enough to actually leave the damn thing on to get the spot pass. Silly goose. Indeed. Mm. So, I don't know. Anyway, though, we're going to move off 3DS. I want to talk about something that was in the news this past Sunday. Those of you Jackass fans know where I'm going with this. I thought it was like a lot sooner than that. No, it was Sunday. They announced it on Monday, though. Ryan Dunn, uh, at age, I believe it's 34. I hope I'm right. I think it's 34. All right, well, you check. In the meantime, I'm going to say 34 uh, died. He was in a car accident. They believe uh, he was intoxicated at the time. His car was going 110 miles an hour, crashed, and was engulfed in flames almost immediately. And they basically, him and his passenger, whom we believe is his friend, died almost immediately. You're right, 34. 34? Thought so. I love Jackass. I love watching Viva La Bam. And Bam Margera took this very hard, by the way. 
very hard. Um, people, his family better wa better watch out for him. Does anybody have any uh, fond memories of Ryan Dunn or Jackass? Or I uh, never I really. watched any of that. I watched like a little bit of it, but I like I never got too interested in it. But you know, obviously, I obviously I still feel sorry. Closest I ever got to that show was like the Halo style version. That was my favorite It wasn't not exactly. It was. It wasn't really like a. It wasn't like like voice clips. They just did their own stunts that would seem like they would that would just soup that would just like stoop, be stupid. I don't know. All I can all say. All I know is what well, my. All I can say is that it was a great man. I, th I, you know, he was crazy. Yeah, he put his, he was an, he was a jackass, literally, putting his life on the line, <laughs> funny. putting his life on the line to entertain people. But you know what? Think of Brooklyn Boys. We do almost uh, uh, anything. Uh, Brooklyn Boys. Put your life on the line. We're talking about the extremer stunt. All right, Mike. Yeah. So you jumped off one ladder. That doesn't make you extreme. Oh, getting all. hit over the head with Pepsi cans and getting wet with the water. Oh yeah, you're right. That's so hardcore. Oh my god. Uh, I've done many crazy taking things. Taking it to the extreme! Yeah, Mike, you gotta take things... Jackass was like Brooklyn Boys to the extreme. Let's leave it at that. Okay, uh, okay. speaking of Jackass, I just want to bring up one point in uh, Jackass 2. It was, oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I'm not gonna no. That. I was talking, it was the uncensored version, but this one part got censored. How no. can you have something no. censored in the uncensored version? I have no idea, but you're not bringing up any of the parts, because some of the parts uh, oh. were... Um, were the part that I know you're talking about, I am not even getting into that, and you're not either. I'm not, I wasn't going to, I'm just saying, like, it's kind of weird that that would be censored in the uncensored DVD. I don't know. But, yep. So, yeah. So what else do we have on the agenda? Smash with your clipboard of clippiness. I don't, I don't, hey, I don't have a clipboard. I'm normal. I'm like Mike. I have a notebook. Hey, shut up. Okay. <laughs> What's your notebook say? What are we missing? My notebook, your which notebook is cooler is than a clipboard. Guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're so funny. Go die. Okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, the last, the last, last thing. And you go. Sh shut up. All right. You know what? <laughs> Let's, let's save the hate battle for after the podcast. Okay. Fine. Okay. okay. Can I get to it? Thank you. Shut up. Okay. The last thing on the agenda is the first episode of Futurama Season 8. Oh, yeah. How can I forget that? Mike, Futurama. We saw the first oh, episode yeah. of the new season last night. It's... <laughs> I think they're trying a little bit too... They're still try-harding it too much. They're... The main focus of the episode, which should have taken over the full 20 minutes of the episode, really only happened in five minutes, and it, it was over. It, like was, it was it was the the sex change thing. But it was funny. But it was funny. Yes, it was. It was hilarious. But Zap Brannigan doesn't make anything funny. No, I, I'm sorry. I wish they'd stop putting Zap Brannigan. Besides, in. besides last season when he did that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that, was that was funny. Okay, that was funny. But he's just not funny at all. And he was in one episode last season. Watching me in this episode, and that's it. Goodbye, Zap. Goodbye, Zap. <laughs> Did the voice actors change? No, I don't believe so, right? I don't believe the voice actors. No, the voice actors are all the same. It's really, I think, the guy that plays Fry's voice is also the professor. Uh, Leela's voice is by that that woman that's in that show with uh, the oh, Bundys. Oh, the, uh, what's the show with the Bundys? Um, Al Bundy. Come on, doesn't Al Bundy ring a bell with anybody? Oh, no, not really. Sorry. Married with kids. Married, married with, with kids. kids. Yeah, 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 that's it. Married with children, yeah. With children. Oh, that show. That show, I remember. Uh, I, but think, I yeah. think if they stop trying so hard, because Comedy Central's really trying to dig it out of the grave, and I'm being honest, it's not that hard to make Futurama good. You just gotta stop try-harding the episode. And you also have to expand on the main idea of the episode. Not make it a five-minute thing. Their genders changed for a total of five minutes. Between the second commercial and the last commercial, their genders were changed and brought back to original. Like, maybe they should do something like South Park does, where they have one main point, but they have the entire 30-minute show being about that main point they exactly that Ex yeah that's a perfect actually that's perfect the way you just explained it is perfect the main idea should be the main focus of the episode just like in the first four seasons it's kind of reminding me like um how 
I don't know, I haven't really watched any new Family Guy episodes, but a lot of people were saying Family Guy wasn't being as funny it's before. Family, family Guy, Family Guy, yeah, Family Guy is becoming very, very repetitious.